think Calvert's got some important stuff to say. We've got four minutes, sorry, Calvert. Got it. <laughs> Lexington County Council is, has proposed an ordinance that um, will tell you when to cut your grass. It will tell you uh, that you have to keep your pool clear year-round. You can't let it settle or, or go during the winter and, and turn into a fishing pond. Um, and they will restrict the type of storage that you can have on your private property. This is all they say to reduce crime in the county. <laughs> and to help you know, increase your property value. The problem with it is we have this thing called private property rights that allows you to do what you want to do on your private property. As long as you aren't physically or, or um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? There's no real damage to anybody else. If there's real demonstrable damage to anybody else, you go to court and you sue them and you get, you get recovery for it. But perceived property value and those kind of things aren't under the purview of private property rights to where you're hurting somebody else. So what we've done, we've got a group of citizens and we invite you to join us who are fighting this, who want to stop it. We don't think that Lexington County should be the homeowners association for the county. We don't need the homeowner Nazi coming to your yard to say the grass is too long, or you've got too many leaves on the ground, or you need to paint, or your car's the wrong color, or you're washing the car in the drive, you're not supposed to. All the things about the HOAs that we hate is what we don't want to have the county doing. So um, there's a website that we put together called nopropertypolice.org. We invite you to go to nopropertypolice.org, sign our petition. Tell uh, yes. if, if this passes, who becomes the victim? Uh, who gets restitution for this supposed property? Uh, well, nobody gets restitution, but the victim will be the property owner that goes to jail, like the lady down in uh, Mount Pleasant. Yeah. Just a couple, uh, couple of months ago, there was a story that was run. This lady couldn't afford to, uh, she lost her job. She couldn't afford to keep her yard neat. And she ended up going to jail because she got fined. She couldn't pay the fine, of course, because she couldn't keep her yard clean, didn't have the money, couldn't pay the fine. She went to jail for like six days. It made the news, and enough people saw it that saw that she was in a bad situation, came over and helped her get her yard cleaned up. So she went to jail 